Hello all, it's Siobhan here. Um, so I am going to show you my couch. It it turns out into a bed, so I still need to put the arms on yet. Um, what I was going to do at first, I was going to show you how to screw them in, but um, there's no holes in, so I have to go and get a, a electric screwdriver. I bought that from Argos yesterday. This was £12. You get another attachment with it, you know, like a, um, a straight across like screwdriver. Then, this morning, because cause what happened, I thought this electric screwdriver would just be able to do it by itself. But it worked out better when I put holes in the wood first, then put the screwdriver. So, I bought, I bought like a set of these. Do you know, like drills, because you can use this as a drill as well, actually, so that's good. So I used that, and then I put the screws in. But this one's a little bit loose, but I'm trying to tighten it, but for some reason, it's not doing it. But the rest of them are not too bad, so I'm stopping it don't collapse. So, yeah, so I got this from eBay. This was a hundred and... I'm just trying to think, oh yeah, that's it, £135.99. So I bought two of them. They come in this box like this. Excuse the little bit of mess on the floor. Um, I brought some paint as well to do my um, walls in white, because this is Magnolia. So that's my other couch, but it's still boxed up. Comes in a box like this. Um, yeah, so... You get instructions, but it's easy to do. But like, um, it did come with a screwdriver, but this one here, and some screws. But I was finding it hard, so I got um, like it says um, this one, and I got like this um, drill set. So this is how you do it. So what happened? It come in a box like this. Um, do you know the base bit, as in the back bit and the um seat bit it come like this and then you've got to put the legs on like it says on the instruction then of course then you flip it over and then put the arms on oh yeah the um the legs the legs and the um sofa arms did turn up in this do you know like a zip bin. it does turn out into a bed as well but the bed's only like for one um, person and I was thinking, you probably could put, like, pillows and duvets in here. Do you know, for storage. But, yeah. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it over and I will add the arms now. Right, so I've just flipped it over. So, I've laid it out as, a, like, a bed. So, I presume you can't... Do you know when you're having it as a bed... You can't have it um, with the things on, I don't think, because... Um, Maisie, do you want to demonstrate? She, she's just taller than me now. Right, lay down. What do you think of it? Is it uncomfy or what? Or is it OK? Yeah, it's OK. Well, yeah, it could do, go with it a bit up there, but it doesn't matter. She says it's comfy. Right, you can get off it now. Right, so Maisie demonstrated that bit, but but I did lay down on it, and of course I'm I'm quite ev well I'm heavyish, so and it's okay. It's but what I would suggest though, if you're having it as like a bed, it is a bit. Do you know with all these little things, I think you should better get in like a mattress protector or another duvet, so all these buttons are not digging in. But that's the only thing. It is nice material, it's soft. So I'm just gonna like, and that's what you do for the the sofa bit like that. I don't know if it can lay down or oh, oh you can you can have it like different positions. You can have it <laughs> a bit back like that. No, oh, I like that. But this is what I'm gonna do now. I've got to put the arms on. Right, um, I'm just, I'm just going to put the arms on. So what it says on this picture, they just must just slot into place. So I'm going to try one now and come back. 
Right, I've managed to put one arm on. So what you've got to do, you see these bits here? Of course, you've got to attach it to that. So what you've got to do is, like, put it on like that. Right. I'm trying to... Yeah, and then what you like that the first bit, you, and then you gotta keep on doing that. Do you know, rock it backwards and forwards until it goes down to the bottom, so you don't see the metal bit. And then when you want to take them off, you gotta do the same thing. If you get what I mean. It is a bit um, tricky. Um. It's got to be a bit hard to get off at first. So, yeah. It just needs a little bit more there. But it is comfy to sit on. So, do I sit on it? I would say it holds three people. Um, like I said, it turns out into a bed as well. <sighs> so, it is a nice couch. Oh, is it? That's a... Uh... Oh, and also I used a bit of that on the um, thing, on the arms and the doors as well. They're not squeaking no more. So, the rats there. That's Kenny. Kenny. Let's see if it comes to me. Kenny. Is it's a. It's fast. Look, look how fast. Kenny. Come on. <laughs> this is what I did all day yesterday. But anyway, um, I hope you like the couch. My next job is to do the other one, but I think I've got to paint the living room first. So, yeah. So, I'm going to upload this video now. And like it says, I've done a review, um, I, I've laid down on it, Maze has laid down on it, and it is strong enough, but I would say it's just for one person to sleep on, but again, I would say you need like a duvet cover over the top of the, do you know the little bumps there, or like a top, like a mattress topper or something, so you don't feel them bumps in it, but it's really nice, I really like it, it's got gold legs as well. And like winter over and stuff. I'll be putting this couch a bit back to the wall once I get all sorted out. So I think it's got to look nice. So yes, I'm going to leave it there, everybody. So I'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye.